Hello everybody and welcome back to beamng.drive I don't know if people call it beamng.drive or beamng.drive but I could you know, just call it what the hell I want Anyway, so for today's uh, little session on Beam um, I've got a couple lined up because I've just been going mad on their forums but this is actually a mod I've installed and if you don't know, uh, I've played on it before but BeamNG has a grid map which is basically this completely plain layout map that has all these jumps and um, various like, half pipes and loads of different areas you can test your car. Now scrolling through the forums I saw one that was like said something like grid map 10 years later or something like that and that's what we'll be looking at today. I've already spotted a couple of things that are different so obviously, um, well <laughs> the big difference is that there's actually just grass grown that seems to be the main thing that's actually changed nothing seems to look very older or anything like that but there are a couple of new things like there seems to be an actual track now um, obviously this wasn't made by beam this was made by someone else they obviously picked up the, the grid map and was just like hey um, let's change it but we're going on that this is a 10 year old map okay so obviously in the original version there wasn't this this awesome little track here um, and there's loads of new features for us to crash cars. So, let's get straight into that, shall we? I mean, I don't know why I'm doing an intro like we're about to transition into something else, because this is it. This is the video. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, that track was a little bit boring. Um, yeah, so there will be a couple of new things. Um, for example, I don't think this jump was here before. <laughs> or maybe it was, actually. Oh, we got wrecked. Um, I actually managed to go around that track without ruining my car at all, and now, now look what I've done to it. Oh, the insurance company will not be happy. Can we just, uh, let's just go somewhere else. <laughs> so, I reckon we're probably in the total wrong car. While this car isn't actually doing too bad around the track and it's not suffering too hard, I think we are in the wrong car. Obviously in my custom-built muscle car from my last episode, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is a total wrong car for it anyway, and now it's crushed, so it's borderline useless. So, we're probably going to pick up something like a 4x4, I guess. Uh... Or if there's a if there's an off-roady type version, of course it's not an off-roady type version of that. Why was I even thinking that? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's pick up a pickup truck, and then we can just start exploring straight away. Uh, we'll pick up the Marauder. Let's just pick up this bad boy. Oh my god! This. Okay, I think I don't know why that was just so quick, but that was so quick off the line. One thing I want to just quickly try. Oh, I've just put the parking brake on. Is I want to see what's down here because I don't actually think this was in the uh, the other pack. This is like a very long. You can't even see down there. Okay, first off, obviously we're gonna just try and jump over it, but then straight away after we'll try and end up inside it on purpose because that's kind of what we do around here. What is really interesting to see, I don't know if they've maybe just put two maps together because this really looks like. Oh my god! I actually met. Oh my god! No, I didn't make it. Oh Jesus Christ, look how far down it goes. Oh no. Calm down please, I'm getting dizzy. Oh god. I wonder what this thing will look like when we get to the bottom. I mean, slowly but surely we're getting there. I think we're getting there. It kinda just maybe just goes into non existence. Oh Is there a bottom? Oh, we're about to learn. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a bottom and we're definitely, definitely not able to, mind you, apparently the engine's fine. <laughs> anyway, back up here, on the surface, what else have we got around here? So we had the little track, um, we've also got this here. I mean, these are quite good because it sort of shows you where you can and can't go. Like, I'm guessing on the other side of these um, trees, there's probably nothing. Let's have a quick look. Oh, there is something, actually. Whoop. Oh yeah, there's a whole other part to this track that I forgot about. But all of this, look, they didn't do over here, did they? Oh, hacks. I found I found secret areas, guys. Still plain. Still plain. So, so ten years later, they didn't do anything with this. They decided this, this wasn't worth it. Or maybe they maintained the outside bit before the inside wasn't worth it because too many people died. That's the story we shall go with. Um, <laughs> I want to see if there's any more off-roady type things. I like that the whole thing's set off-road and there's no tarmac by the looks of it. It does seem very made for this type of truck. Oh my god. No, 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 no. There we go. So yeah, there's also a little jump over there that looks like completely offset. Let's have a look over that. Here we go. Come round here. I want to go up that ramp there as well. It seems a bit off-roady, which is pretty damn cool. Oh, wow. 
Look at this. I think we jumped this earlier. This is definitely made for our off-roader. Let's go through this. Bear no brown. Brown, brown. Oh my god, it's sinking in the mud instantly. I've never even tried to make a map in this game, but it must be so easy. They must have made it quite nice to make, maybe. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know what the process is for making a map, but there's just... Maybe I'm, I'm going to try one day. I'm sort of committed to that, yeah. One day, I'm going to try and make a freaking map. Oh look, there's more off-roady bits here. This is obviously what we crashed on earlier. Let's just see if we can actually get over this. Of course we can. Not an issue for our beastly off-roader. Bearing in mind it's broken right now as well, technically. I mean, we are having no trouble. There we go. Yep. There we go. And then I think I spotted in the middle here somewhere. Obviously th these things are probably still even on the map because I know there is a, a bit of a grassy area. And then we've got this bit here, which I reckon we could probably take a small car across. Let me just get in a small car. I mean, this might suffer just a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it'll make it, right? <laughs> oh, look. Oh, she might actually make this. Oh, I've got a new, I've got a new mission. All right, let's go. Number two. Very slowly. We don't, doesn't, you know, we don't have to rush. We've got all day. Is she stuck? She's, she's, she's soldiering on and I can't speak. Oh, no, is this, this is it. Oh, no. Oh, it seems the rear axle will get stuck on something. Right, let's go back. And then go forward. Here we go. Oh, she's she's doing good. As long as she doesn't roll over, you kind of just back it out and, and go back on again, and it works fine. Look at this little thing. It's so happy just bouncing around. This is its element. If someone can make a mod for an off-road pigeon, that would be awesome, because I know you can't actually modify these so like they have off-road tyres and stuff. Oh, we've popped a tyre. Should we go back? There we go. So we're now back to where before we were. Um, before we pop the old tyre, but let's just see, can we get through? Come on guys, let us through. I mean, the fact that rocks don't budge are always a little bit unrealistic, but, you know. Are we stuck on this rock? No, we are not. We just go around it. Ah, oh, who knew it? The pigeon. You know, it's the next, okay, okay, we're stuck again. We would actually bottom down on this one. We might not be able to move at all. So we've reset ourselves again. Obviously, in real life, you don't get two chances. Um, you can't just reset yourself, so maybe just look out for that sort of stuff. That's what this is a test for. This really tells you where to go, where not to go <laughs> when you're doing it. All right, we need to get over this rock. That's the rock we keep bottoming out on. There we go, and almost we are out. Jesus, that was not the intention of this video at all. But, oh, we're going to get into arcade. There we go. That is still awesome. Awesome? I keep saying awesome, it sounds funny. Uh, I'm just going to try and take it in here. I know for a fact we're not going to get through this, but hey ho, it's worth a try, am I right? There we go. Pretty much. I think she's stuck. No, she's not. She's also soldiering through this. So who freaking knew it? See, if you don't take your vehicle or test your vehicle to the limits, you're never going to find out how great it is. Seriously, if this makes it all the way to here and then gets stuck, you better not, Pigeon. I don't want to lose hope with you. Please. Oh my god, it did it. I cannot believe that. Not for one second that that car made it. Not even dirty. That's kind of because uh, dirt isn't really uh, an option on beam. But still, that is cool. Uh, well, that that's that's way more than I already planned to do <laughs> this video. Let's. Oh, I forgot about this little fella. Yeah, he couldn't do much. Um, let's get back in this and then let's go to this jump over here. Okay, so I did just sort of roll it by an accident, um, but I still haven't reset the vehicle. We're still going strong. Um, we've got fenders, fenders hanging off. Is that what that's called? Um, and then you've got a, the way you've got to do this is just sort of go for it. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, you do. And we are bottoming out. Oh no, we can't not make it now. Oh my god. What does that say? Dam radiator damaged. Okay, that's fine. That's not bad. You know, there's worse things that could happen. You know, we still got a fuel tank. We still got an engine that works and. Yeah, we're just going to go for this one. I'm just going to just just absolutely go for it. Because I kind of want to see what the world looks like from up there. Because this isn't something that's in the grid map. I don't think, anyway. Unless, obviously, it's been updated and I'm just not paying attention to it. Obviously, I am Beam's biggest fan in the whole world. They literally um, favorited one of my tweets once. So, take that. I bet they haven't favorited one of yours. And, and don't, don't tweet at them just in case they do. It will really make me feel silly. Oh, my God. Okay, for this I kind of feel like I should reset the car, but this is not what I was expecting by all means. I thought up here would just be straight flat um, containers that you just drive across. But okay, I'm up for a challenge. Oh my Jesus Christ, no. 
Okay, I am now stuck. I kind of don't know how to tackle this. Like, this car only just fits over it. I mean, maybe it's not made for this car? Come on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Every time. Oh, my God. We're doing it. We're sort of doing it. Little notches at a time. You don't have to go crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Oh, we've done it. That was good. I mean, of course, like I say, we didn't do it all at once. But this is a whole new area to the map that just definitely didn't exist. I'm going to double check the grid map to make sure I'm not just being a complete doof right now and that it didn't exist because I'm pretty sure it didn't. This is a real area to test your off-roader and I don't know why the hell you test it up here. <laughs> but yeah, this video was just literally supposed to be like a five minute video to showcase this awesome map. Well, I didn't even play this map before I showcased it, so I just had faith and my god did it deliver because this is... Oh shit. <laughs> Look, you can actually see where the two blocks fell down there. Maybe you have to go fast for that bit. Okay, we'll go. We'll try it. Oh! Oh my god, that worked. Okay, we're going to go a little bit. We're going to just recover ourselves. And we just go over these bits here. Over this and on to the rocks. Oh my god, we did it. We did it. Now this is a hardcore off-roady section. I love this so much. This is, to be fair, if this is like probably the main bit they spent time on on this map, which is probably why the rest is just all grass and stuff, but this looks so good, or it is so good. It doesn't even look so good. I'm already past it. I've been using it or playing on it for the last like five minutes, but still, look at that. Oh, no, that was close. And then you've obviously got all these bumps here. You've got these bumps just here as well. These are these are my favourite type of bumps. Whoop! They really like just absolutely ch make your car jump around. Well, that delivered, didn't it? Oh look, there's an easier way up there than I went. <laughs> and then straight down here. Ah, oh, I think we're absolutely explore exploring the crap out of this. And then straight down here um, with absolutely no faults at all. And to land on the bottom. Wow. Well, that was so much more than I was even hoping to explore. Um, and we've barely explored the map. Seriously, the grid map is huge. So there must be so much to this. This this little oh, mod. Sorry, I got a, bit, got a bit caught up in the crash. And she still drives though. This car is like absolutely indestructible. What's the where does that jump go, huh? Huh? Jump goes up there, does it? Oh, that's no that's no bother for us. We can do it, can't we, team? Apart from the wheels don't steer, like at all. Is there a wheel that's broken? No, we should be able to steer. If you look at all these roads, there's clearly so much more to explore. And I definitely will, but in another video probably. Um we'll come back to this. I'm glad I picked the right truck. I feel like I picked the right truck. Um, and yeah, uh, let me just do this jump and then we will continue with an outro. Oh, let's slow down time. I forgot how to do it. Oh my god, I just cocked up the whole game. Let's go back and let's just start again, shall we? From the whole video, beginning of the video, let's just cut it. No, I'm joking. I'm just going to start from the thing, but I just need to know how to... Okay, that's how you slow down time. I haven't slowed down time once this video and some people prefer to see crashes in real time, which I do too, I've started to prefer that. But let's see. Oh, fuck that. No way. No, we're not having that. Yeah, some people prefer crashes in real time. And I've started to as well. So let's just get this up here. Here we go. We're definitely going to crash this. Oh, let's get a bit, bit more speed on. There we go. And then we can go down here and just see how well this crushes itself after hitting that jump. Boom. And will she drive is the real question here. There is showing a bit of radiator damage on the... Uh, on the old map there. That is completely it. That that vehicle was stuck on its side, so I didn't ever bother. Didn't even bother at rescuing it. That's it for this map. Um, there is so much more to explore. Like, just look over there. There's a whole maze. So if you do want me to carry on exploring this, do slap a like on this video. Um, it, it, it helps me know what you want to see. Um, but yeah, I hope you really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. There'll be a link for this in the description if you have BeamNG. Just go and download this and have a little play. Um, look, I say this every other Beam video, but I really love this game. It's just got too much potential. Too much. There's just so much that can happen with it. Um, yeah, I really love it. And I love making videos on it as well. So, 
for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you like my videos, go and hit subscribe. And I'll see you in a bit.